Hello guys, my name is Ralph Johnson and welcome to another episode of Ralph Johnson Photography. Today I have a story about a thousand year photo that is being taken right now. But I have a question for you first. How long is the longest photo that you've ever taken? Is it a minute? 10 minutes? How long? I just want to know. Put it in the comments below. Anyways, back to this story. Jonathan Keats is attempting to break a, actually to make a world record on a thousand year photo. It's the first time that anyone has ever tried this and Jonathan Keats wants to do it. He's going to have the uh, photo being taken at the Tempe, Arizona, Arizona State University Art Museum. It's going to be in their sculpture garden and be three stories up on top of a trellis. So it's going to be facing towards downtown Tempe, Arizona, and it's pretty much just a really long exposure, a very long exposure. The theory behind this is it's going to show how the the city changes over a thousand years and if you want some more information about the camera here it is the plate in front of the camera that is 24 karat gold and has a tiny pinhole in it and this is how the camera is going to be working so if you need any gold any time soon you can go over there and grab it if you need if you really need it it might be guarded a little bit but go ahead try it so Martin Lime was walking with his wife in London at the Hornchurch County Park in East London. He saw an interesting thing happen. A weasel was riding on, riding on the back of a woodpecker. And he, so he saw this and grabbed his camera really quick and took the photo. It's a really cool photo. It's a fun photo. I really like it and I'm glad it got shared. Anyways, let's go on to my next story. Actor Leonard Nimoy passed away at the age of 83 and the reason why I bring this up is because he was very passionate about his photography. If you don't know who Leonard Nimoy is, he was most popular for Spock on Star Trek where he did Live Long and Prosper and it was a very interesting role to say the least and I don't know whether he enjoyed it or not but we're here to talk about his photography stuff that he did. Leonard Nimoy picked up the interest as a child and then also went to UCLA and considered changing careers from acting to photography. In 2004, the Republican, Nimoy shared challenges of having an interest in photography and acting. And this is what he said. Being known in one area of the arts and wanting to move into another area is complicated. In a certain way you get attention because of who you are, but you also get a certain amount of resistance. But either way, Leonard Nimoy found success in the medium of photography and his work has been, you know, on a number of exhibits. He has uh, published best time selling photo books and so, I mean, Leonard Nimoy really did a lot for the photographic community and it's always a shame when a good photographer like him passes away. Anyways, that's the end of my photo news for this week. So, peace out. Bye.